While history was made today as for the first time women were promoted to the rank of station officer in the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service. Speaking at an appointment ceremony for these officers held at the TTFS's Wrightson Road headquarters today, the acting chief congratulated the women who he said have a lot to prove. Dian Batiste tells us more. Jillian Lewis. Acting Chief Fire Officer Kerry Gopal said these ladies have to work twice as hard as their male counterparts. He admitted that many are of the opinion that women aren't cut out for such a job. You are the first set of women to wear khaki, you know, in the service. So it took 24 years to put you in khaki, but you are here. And this is just the beginning. The next step, you are in the first division, officially confirmed. So set the example because they don't have any faith in the females in the job. They don't have any faith. They don't feel you all can carry them out there. So prove yourself. He encouraged the women to lean on their male counterparts for support. In his address, the acting chief said the promotion of the 34 officers is all part of the succession plan for the TTFS. It goes to show that if you were not planning your future, your career, readying yourself to contribute to this organization, you will be found wanting. And not only by your supervisors, but there is a 360 appraisal. Your subordinates know if you're bluffing or if you are ready. He reminded the officers of their responsibility to the wider population and to each other. You are expected to lead by example. We have had enough slack officers. We don't want any more. And you, most of you have between 10 and 15 years here again, who go into the first division even more. And it is what you want for yourself, specifically, and the fire service generally. So as I said before, you can either be a fire station owner who will set an example. He said the officers who were handpicked for higher office should take their new post seriously, all toward the continued growth and development of the fire department. Dion Batiste, C News.